Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and welcome back to the one's absolutely amazing projectile debug mod where you can see where your bullets go and importantly see and test bullet penetration through objects so it's a fantastic offline mod. Uh, you may well have seen my uh, previous little video I did about it um, um, but I felt that maybe I was a little bit uh, quick with some of the explanations. So in this video, what I'm specifically going to be talking about is how to get uh, the projectile debug mod working with V++ admin tools. Now, if you're wondering what about Zombri straight away, I haven't managed to get it to work with Zombri. There may be some conflict that's happening, but it works very well with vanilla++ plus plus admin tools. Um, and the reason why you want to do that is so that when you fire up the debug mod, um, the projectile debug mod, it means that you can spawn items into the world easily. In other words, guns and um, ammo and, and things like that. So that you can uh, play around with this and obviously teleport around the map as well. So you can go to different areas to try out different um, um, penetration on different surfaces. So, 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 so. So what you will have already done is you'll have downloaded the projectile debug mod. Now remember this is an offline mod because it takes advantage of using the daisy diag.exe uh, daisy which is the version of daisy that includes all the ability to show diagnosis stuff like this. Um, and what I want you to do as well is when you go over to the project debug um, page go and have a look in the comments and there's a very important bit because what you have to do is as part of the installation process we've got to add these lines here new errors are warnings okay so what happens is when you go over and you subscribe to project D, uh, project projectile debug you subscribe to it um, you fire up the launcher and it will download it to your local PC um, and then what you need to do is you need to find out where it is so just choose on any mod in your launcher click on the three dots open folder in Windows Explorer and this will take you to your daisy workshop folder then all you need to do now is you find the uh, project debug mod which will be element no there is so you copy that there you go up into the um, base directory of daisy so see we've got program files x86 steam steam apps common daisy and you paste the mod here so you can see so this is the mod here so it, it's there so if we go into it we can see this is all the stuff and this is the bit that starts it the start diag uh, batch file so this is a file that tells the um, tells daisy.exe daisy diag.exe to, you know to start with certain parameters and what you need to do here is straight away down here in this section here this is where you add those two lines new errors are warnings one new errors are warnings equals one and then you want to save that that's very important if you don't do that it won't work anyway now the next thing we want to do is we want to come out we want to go back into the workshop folder and you'll want to copy out community framework um, and VPP admin tools and you copy those out now it's and then paste them up here um, so they're in the root folder of your daisy uh, folder now what I'm relying on here is that you previously have installed a daisy local server and got it running and you've installed vanilla plus plus and got it running all right now if you're scratching your head a bit at this and thinking oh no I haven't done that already what I'll do is in the description below this video I'll put a link to project debug uh, the project L debug steam mod um, I'll put a link to VPP admin as well um, and I'll put a link to how to install a local server and how to install V++. Now it's important that you've done this first and you're familiar with the concepts of this is because we're going to use the files that are created as part of that install in order to get the uh, projectile debug mod working with V++. And if you're thinking, oh, this all sounds a little bit complicated, complicated. It is. it is a bit of a complicated one but the advantages of having a local server running on your PC for which you can use for playing Daisy single player testing mods 
um, testing XML mods and all this sort of stuff it is a massive advantage when it comes to modding rather than using daisy offline mode or relying on a remote community server in the cloud somewhere to do all your changes because you can do things much quicker with the local server that's loaded on your computer okay so let's just go back to here so if we go up so we can see in daisy we've now got uh, at CF, at Project L Debug, at VP Admin Tools. Ignore Zombie, that's where I was trying to do some some, um, some testing. Now what you could do if you wanted to, at this point, if you go into Project L Debug Mog and double click on the Start Diag Batch file, it will fire up and you'll get into it. But your chances are um, you won't be able to um, test the mod simply because you won't have a gun. <laughs> okay, so what you can do is if you press escape and go into options and then go into controls um, go into configure uh, key bindings if you go to unsorted you should see these things increase debug shape lifetime toggle projectile hitboxes that means the mod has loaded uh, it's just that you can't test it because you um, haven't got a gun in your hand so this is why we need V++ so let's come out of here come out of there just go back into there so the next thing we're going to do is we need to make it so that vpp admin tools will work will fire up with the mod so again what we're going to do go back to now is we go into projector debug mod we open up the start diag batch file and then up here where we just previously had set mods equals cf and projectile debug mod uh, project or debug we're just going to add in at vpp admin so the way that you could do that is if you go up to here and just left click that left click it again right click copy go back to the batch file and then just put a semicolon in there then add vpp admin and paste that in there that will be that will be there um, and then save that and what that will mean is when you double click on the batch file it will start up the uh, the daisydiag.exe with VPP admin tools running as well. However, the problem is that VPP admin tools needs to have uh, needs to know who should have permission to be able to use it, um, and so we need to make sure that we've given it permission. And the easiest way to do this is that if previously you've got a local server running, um, and um, and got VP plus admin tools running. What we can do is we can just go into the server and we can go into the config folder or it could be settings or it could be profiles um, and then see that folder there vpp admin tools that's the um, folder that vpp admin tools has the permissions in that tells it which users are allowed to use it and also it's, it's got the password in there as well so what you can do is if you just right click config just copy that then go back into daisy and then paste it there and just paste it um, and then go into uh, go into it Oop. you'll then see everything now i've deleted lots of the other stuff here so i'm just kind of left with the vpp admin tools um, because i didn't want so i'm not going to put all the other different mods in just for testing uh, this for purposes so that's in there now as well now the config folder actually can have lots of different names it can be called profiles config settings it doesn't really matter what happens is um, the batch file tells the game it tells the program what folder to look in to, fi to find these things so th the easiest way to explain is if I show you so if we go back to the start diag.batch file that we were working on previously if you look down here you can see I've added a line in there and there. And what we've the line we've added in is dash profiles equals config. And what I'm telling the batch file here is that when you start the server, look in the config folder, and that's where the settings are going to be, and that's where the mods can keep their settings as well. And so it knows then VPP admin knows then to have a look in that folder it will look in the vpp admin folder and it will pull out your steam code that you previously used to get it working on your local server to to, to get it working now it may well ask you for the password again 
So you might have to reset your password or try and remember what your password was from when you installed it on your local server. But once you've done that, you can then use the home key and you can use the, sorry, use the end key to turn VPP admin on and to press the home key to get into the actual settings themselves. And it should then work and you'll have access to VPP admin tools within the project I'll debug um, executable which is daisydiag.exe so you can then spawn in weapons um, and ammunition so in fact if we reload have we got any bullets there so then you can do all this wonderful stuff where you can ch check bullet trajectories and I say the real important thing is you're looking for ch uh, checking the way that bullets pass through different objects so you know how to wall bank how to shoot people through walls basically um, which is an incredibly useful feature to have a play around with and to, to kind of see how it works and give you an idea of the way that um, the daisy works that way. So the other thing you maybe want to do as well, actually while I mention it while we're here, is that you can change the length of time that the tracers are on the screen. Um, however, unfortunately, when you first go into the game, um, it doesn't always work. So if you're going to configure key bindings, go to unsorted. I change increase debug shape lifetime to page up and decrease the page down. That kind of interferes with the zeroing on your rifle, but for testing purposes, when we're really testing, uh, or mainly I'm testing bullet penetration through walls and doors and things like that, I'm not really bothered about, um, really bothered about, uh, what was I gonna say? Really bothered about uh, using the ability to zero my weapon. You can tell I've had a long day at work. I'm pretty, <laughs> really tired doing this video. Okay, so there we go. That, my friend, is how you get the Project L debug mod, mod to work with Vanilla++ Plus Plus, so you can spawn stuff in. Hopefully this hasn't been useful. I know this has been um, one of the more complicated videos because I'm relying on you understanding and having already installed a local server and getting Vanilla++ Plus Plus mod working already. But you know, if you've got to that stage where perhaps you're, you want to use Projectile Debug and you've got a bit stuck, this should have pointed you in the right direction. Now, if it has, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. I will, of course, see you again soon.